Good day everyone and welcome to Maverick Christian Consult. Today I'll be showing you how you can import an architectural file from AutoCAD into Portal Structure Designs. So I have a I have the graph floor plan of a four bedroom duplex here and that is what I'm going to be working in with. So the first thing is to you create axis you create axis in between all walls the vertical walls and the horizontal walls because the intersection of the axis will determine where you're going to where you're going to have your columns so the first thing is i create a layer for the axis okay i already have a layer i call axis where i pick it in case that in case you don't have one you will go to the new layer so you can see you can put add this here and so i have one here double click on it to make it the current layer then i close this pick my construction line right click on it horizontal so you are putting in between the walls in between the walls make sure it's at the midpoint of the walls so there's a wall here but you can see the wall is a bit thinner than this the width of my column is going to be 230 millimeters the 230 millimeter by 230 millimeter column so it's not going to fit in into this wall here so I'm not going to have a column there automatically. So no need to put as X there. Then I put one here also. Then I right click again and I go to vertical. I have one here. I'm going to have one here. There's going to be one here also then the last one is going to be over here it's going to be here so that's it so now i want to trim out the excess lines i have here i pick my rectangle i draw a rectangle over this i pick my trim tool right click on it i trim out these lines trim out these lines then after that I can I can erase this rectangle so now I want to put in my columns I want to arrange my columns in there and that's what we call the general arrangement so I create a layer for the column if I have one I just simply make it the current layer by double clicking on it and I can close, it, close this I told you the column is going to be a 230 by 230 millimeter column so I simply pick my lines 230 230 by 230 by 230 by 230 so I, I like that and type join as a command I join that together then I also arch it to make it more visible so I'll be picking the column making sure I'm picking it at the mid the middle pick it at the center and deselect this then I put them where I want the column to be I want one to be here. I think it should be good to also have one here. Also have one here. I also have one here. 
I also have one here. I can also have one. Yeah, okay. I don't think. Yes, I can. Yeah, I have one there. I have one here also. I have one over here. There's going to be a landing slab here. There's going to be a slab here. Yes, that's the landing for the staircase. Okay. Let me leave one there. There's one here. There's one here also. There's one here. Make sure it's at the center. You can zoom in if it's not too clear. Then I can drop that. Okay. And then I can see I have my columns well arranged. That's the general arrangement. So, is that complete? Yes. Then I can save. Come to file. Pick save as. Let's call this. Okay, let's call it project 1. Okay, that's fine. Project 1.dxf. Then I'll save. Then I can close that and come to my portal structure. Pick on new project. Let's call it. Let's also call it project one. No problem. That project one. Then the templates I'll be using is my UK template that is BS eight one one zero. So when this loads up, I come to my file. Then. There's a drop out, uh, there's a drop down here. These are mobile, model file, model stroke file import. Click on that, and I pick my external reference drawing. I pick the DXF load, the file name from AutoCAD was project one, right. So you type in project one, you can see it here. This is project one DXF. This is it here. And I open. Allow it to load. unit is millimeters okay that's good click on ok then click on import members I import my axis that's the this is the importance importance of creating layers I didn't mean we didn't create layers for the axis and then the columns they wouldn't show up here so click my axis then uh, import columns Click on column and click on OK. Start, you have no errors. And so then, then I, I close. So you can see we have successfully imported our architectural file.